So a little while back, I was gator hunting with some friends of mine and I messed up on a real big gator, probably one of the biggest gators I would have caught all year. And later on that day, we were sitting on the boat talking and I said, what would it be like if you could go back eight hours in life and redo what you did that you figured you messed up or you thought that you messed up? Some of the people on the boat said, oh, you know, I messed a bunch of money or I did this or I did that. And I said, you know what? I would just like to go back and be able to have a second try at that alligator. Well, that night I was at a hotel and I walked out and there was a fan of mine parked next to my boat, but not out of his car. So I walked out there and I met one of the coolest, kindest people I've ever met in my life, but he was paralyzed from the neck down. They had rigged him up a vehicle. Somebody had made him a vehicle. His arms worked, but his hands didn't. That night, we stayed up till about midnight talking to him and you know, just hanging out and spending time with him. And when he left, I was laying in bed and I swear, it was like God said something to me. I met him for a reason because right then I thought, what if he could go back eight hours and change what he did? Unfortunately, he was drinking and driving that night and got in a bad accident, which caused him to sit in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Since that day, I have thought about that a thousand times. Every day, be happy to be alive and be healthy. Try to make good decisions. You're going to make some dumb ones, but hey, just like right now I'm fishing. I ain't caught a thing but a, a ladyfish and a jack. I'm right here standing up, talking to y'all on this camera, healthy, and I got a fish. I'm standing here healthy. You know what? Be humble. Be happy and be glad you're alive. What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. I'm in Fort Pierce going trout fishing. I'm tired of deer hunting. I'm tired of the cold. I'm back home. We're going trout fishing. Got the blackjack. Got Redneck in the truck. And for those of y'all that are new to this channel, Redneck is my little Jack Russell. My boat is a Blackjack 224. 2018 and we're here at a local bait shop what is it called the brooks fishing corner we're going to walk in here i'm going to give myself a budget of 40 bucks i'm going to pick out four different lures and we're going trout fishing so hey i forgot my wallet in my truck let me grab that and i'll see y'all inside all right so anytime you're fishing anywhere you're going fishing try to use a local tackle shop to that particular place because these guys will have everything you need to fish there they won't have stuff that you need to fish in maine they'll have it for the local spot. So I'm gonna pick out three different things and I'm gonna let the boy working behind the counter pick out his favorite thing and we're gonna see what works the best. I wanna pick out some paddle tail jig heads. I want a pack of these and I want a pack of these. Then I wanna come over here and pick out a pack of these. I'm gonna pick out a pack of these. I'm the these all right so that's two things that i got now i'm allowed one lure and i'm definitely going with the yozuri jerk bait all right boss what's your pick trout one lure the best thing that you come up with uh oh he's he's getting close to where i was just at well you can't pick that because that's what i just picked that's exactly we'll y'all see great we'll minds think alike great we'll minds think color. alike all right he's going to change up the colors So y'all see it, that's what he's picking. A little bit different, but about the same thing I picked. Obviously we got our four things now. I'll see you at the boat ramp. You got good clean water today. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna show y'all a trick when you're unloading a boat by yourself. I don't recommend everybody doing it, but if you watch closely, it's a pretty good trick.
Now, you see how easy that was? Don't hold up the whole boat ramp. People are trying to come and go, do it as fast as you can, get in and out, park the truck, get back, get your boat, and get out of everybody's way. Pretty simple. But in all reality, boat ramps can get really clustered. It's hot, people are wanting to get out of there. Do yourself and everybody else a favor. When you're at a boat ramp, try to get in and out as fast as you can to where you're not holding up space because ain't nobody got time to sit at a boat ramp all day. So in this video, I'm gonna do things a little bit different. I'm gonna really get into detail and show you guys what I do, how I do it, what rods I use. But one of the most important things, and this ain't a selling pitch, this is a fact. You see my boat, my power poles are down and deployed. I didn't need to tie it up. I didn't need to hold have ropes. It ain't going nowhere. And hey, there's Redneck. Everybody meet Redneck if you haven't already met him. So I'm gonna run down. I'm gonna be looking for current brakes, wind brakes, wind blown points, birds diving. I haven't been here in months. I'm gonna figure this out one way or the other. Y'all come along. All right, so before I run down to where I want to fish, I want to real quick get my rods out, get them all rigged up, get exactly what I want to use to where if I am running real fast and I see birds diving or fish start busting, I can pull in there, get quiet, and start fishing immediately. And I want you all to see what I'm using and why I'm using it and my opinion on that particular bait. So I'm going to do this as quick as I can. Just put the power poles down behind this mangrove island. I'm going to attempt to film this whole video on a GoPro because I know a ton of y'all. That's all y'all have is GoPros. And I'm just trying to help and, you know, teach y'all a little bit of how and why we do what we do. So let me get started. All right. So I got everything rigged up. I've got short leaders, 25 pound test fluorocarbon to a blood knot. Don't make your leaders too long to where when you go to cast, this knot always gets in the eye. I've got two bait casters and three spinning reels. Everything rigged up with something completely different. So right here, I got the root beer green jig head. Now this lure I had and I've been wanting to use, it's called a hoagie. Got that. Got the Yozuri jerk bait. I'm never going fishing without a Zara spook, period. And I've got a red jig head with the silver mullet style paddle tail. Now, another huge important thing is these Engel dry boxes. Y'all wanna know why we use things? All my SD cards, my extra batteries, my big expensive camera. I have spent thousands of dollars on tackle boxes and my stuff gets ruined. Plano, all that crap does not work to keep salt water out of it. This will. So I'll take all my extra tackle, put it in there, my extra jig heads there, white ones, really important, a portable cell phone charger. What if my boat breaks and I don't have good battery service? Hey, I got that. Scissors on top. I got a popping cork just because I didn't have any, I wanted to buy one right there. I'm ready to go fishing now. So I don't have to retie anything on. I'm gonna run down this river, show you all a little bit of it, but it's gonna be noisy. And I'm gonna be looking for good current breaks, birds diving, bait activity. I've got five different lures tied on and I'm gonna start fishing. So let's get going. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right, well, we're here. It, there wasn't much to see from where I came to to here, so I didn't show y'all. Don't want to bore you with a bunch of footage. I'm going to start out with the Yozuri Minner. Now, what made me pick this spot was about three months ago, I came up here blind and caught the mess out of trout. So I'm going to try this for about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to go over there where I think they definitely are. But right here, I caught them so good the other day, I want to try it again. I'm in a rush because I got to pick my kids back up from school at 1:45, and it's 11:15 right now. So I'm going to get after it. This is a deep little channel right here that runs through this little flat going to the neighborhood behind me. And sometimes these fish stack up in here. All morning, it was flat calm. Then I get out here and it's blowing. I drive 10 miles all the way down here. As soon as I get here, two boats drive right through the channel. But hey, that's fishing.
Look like a real friendly feller, huh? And now a th it's a weekday, no boats around, and I have three big boats come through the channel as I get here. You just gotta stay focused, stay positive, and keep fishing. Now with this jerk bait, I know I can catch fish, jack, snook, bluefish, trout. If I start getting bites, then I'll key in on some of those other baits, but I can fish this bait real fast, cover a bunch of ground, and then I can key in on other baits to catch bigger fish. When I throw this jerk bait, I jerk slack in it, then reel up. Jerk slack in it, and reel up. I'm doing it so fast, it looks like I'm constantly reeling, but I'm not. I'm throwing, jerk slack, reel. Jerk slack, reel. You want to create that big flash, then a pause. Now when I get closer to this channel marker, I'm gonna lay this rod down and I'm gonna pick up one of those paddle tails because sometimes you can catch trout right on those poles. But I don't want this big flash. I want just a nice steady bait retrieve. All right, I'm gonna rush over and try this next pole. Then I'm gonna run over and fish some current breaks. Now, the last time I was here, I can't really recall what the tide was. I just wanted to stop here real quick, try this spot, then go on. Typically speaking, if you catch fish really good somewhere, go back and keep trying it because that ain't the only time you're gonna catch them there. But I could be here on the wrong tide. All right, so I'm gonna fish this little flat for a second, see what I can get. I might not even catch a fish in this video. I just wanna show you guys my setup, my rods, everything that I use, because I'm gonna start fishing hard this month. And that way, when y'all are watching my videos, you already know the answers to most of your questions. Hopefully I catch something though. On these sand flats, you'll see white sandy spots and those trout will lay there and stalk their prey. So when I'm pinpointing casts, I'm looking for those big white patchy spots. Every now and then when I'm reeling, I'll retrieve a little bit different too. Ooh. Got him. Got him. Big ladyfish! Oh, there's trout all with her! Redneck, quit! Quit! Now these ladyfish are slimy, and this is a absolute giant some people call it the poor man's tarpon some people call it a ladyfish i call it fun all right well we didn't get skunked let's try for another one these old salty reels and rods hey for the price you ain't beating them they got big comfortable handles and I have caught giant fish on these rods. I'm about to go back to the jerk bait. I just love the jerk bait. Tons of flash. 
tons of action. It's not super easy to cast because it's pretty light though. Every now and then when you jerk it real hard, the line will get hooked on the hook. Just reel it back in and start over. Got him. Got him on the jerk bait. Now, whenever you're unhooking a fish, be super careful with this Yozuri, or you'll end up with a set of hooks in your hand. Yeah, I should probably have pliers, but listen, I only got an hour to fish, and I'm wanting to catch fish. And if you have somebody that's going through some depression, take them hunting or fishing. Take them to the beach. Take them for a bike ride. Could you imagine if some of these guys that go and do these mass shooting, if that day, that morning, that hour before they did it, they had somebody that said, hey, let's go to breakfast. Somebody that randomly wouldn't normally talk to them. Hey, let's go to lunch. Let's go cast some, you know, try to catch a fish. I'm telling y'all, me meeting Bryce, was one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Because prior to meeting Bryce, all I was thinking about was, oh, I miss that gator. After meeting Bryce, I got a whole new meeting on life. So I know this video has been fun. Hasn't been super exciting, but this is my life. This is what I do day in and day out. Not all days are sunshine, but it is sunshiny. So hey, take that advice and do what you please with it. Whenever I'm making these videos, there's always times where I wish I could fellowship with y'all, tell you stories, but sometimes I get caught up thinking that y'all might not want to hear it or all you want to do is see fishing and stuff. Leave a comment below if y'all like me to talk about certain stories or hey, if you have a short story you can share with me, share it on my Instagram at Blue Gabe or my Facebook at Gabriel Trumpet Arrington. I love hearing things, you know. A lot of people comment and say, oh, you and your brother, y'all are lucky. Dude, let me tell you something about my dad. The last time my dad saw his dad, he was nine years old, and he put him on a Greyhound bus to nowhere. He had no money, no clothes, no nothing. You know what? He married a good woman, had three amazing boys. Well, I think we're amazing. You know, I, I don't mean amazing as far as we're these amazing people, but we're all healthy, so in that opinion, we're amazing. With that being said, we're all created equal. We're all put on this earth with the same thing. That's our lungs, our heart, and our body. What you do with it is what you do with it. That's your choice. All right, well, I gotta go get the kids. That's it, I caught a big old ladyfish, two jacks, fellowship with y'all a little bit, told you some stories. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see y'all at the house. Let's go, redneck. All right, y'all, I'm back to the house. I didn't get a chance because I had the kids and I was super busy to show you all my exact rod and reels. I use all favorite rods. I'm starting to use all favorite reels here soon, but I wanted to show you guys a sneak peek of tomorrow's video. Deer jerky on the Traeger grill with one of the best marinades I've ever seen in my entire life. I came up with it off the seat of my pants, had some stuff in the refrigerator, thought it up, made it, but you'll have to wait till the next video to see all that. Hey. Thank you guys for all your support. Thank you for all the love, all the shares, all the positive comments. Keep sharing my videos if you could on Facebook and on Instagram. Heck, text them to your grandma, your uncle, your brother, your cousin. It doesn't matter. I love it all. Thank you all very much. But hey, like Jake always says, we're getting the heck out of shape.